Offsets Offsets provide an efficient way to balance transactions based upon your business rules, as opposed to manually keying in the balancing side of a transaction. The Offset Account icon is on the icon toolbar on the transaction entry screen. You're not required to use offsets, except for transactions in which the system is generating the document. These include accounts payable system generated checks and accounts receivable billing and invoice generation. Offsets can be specific to each fund within an organization. This allows organizations to use separate cash accounts for each fund. For more information about offsets, please refer to the Setting Up and Maintaining Offset Account Assignments training video, GLS40. F keys. Tab. This moves the cursor to the next cell. If the cursor is at the end of the line, it wraps to the next line. Shift plus tab. This moves the cursor to the previous cell. When the cursor is at the beginning of the line, it goes to the last cell in the previous line. F2. This will select cells within the table. F4. In a drop down list, F4 drops the list or pulls it up if it's down. In a date or currency field, F4 will display the calendar or calculator. F5. In a table, this key copies the contents of the cell immediately above it into the active cell. F6. In a table, this key copies the contents of the row immediately above into the active row. Save Form Layout. Save Form Layout is found in Customize Workstation Settings and is the first option under the Preference tab. Select this option to save your form settings, including the size and or position of a form or the width of the columns. The next time you open the form, it will be the same size and position as when it was last closed. This option functions similar to Excel by allowing you to adjust and reorder columns. To learn more about customizing your workstation settings, please refer to the Customize Workstation Settings training video, GEN05. Confirm Undo Confirm Undo is found in Customize Workstation Settings and is under the Alerts tab. The Confirm Undo option displays a warning message after you click the Undo button. By default, this option is not turned on, but we recommend that you turn this feature on. The undo within the system is not the same as the undo feature that we commonly use on spreadsheets or documents in which we move back one step or one character at a time. The system undo eliminates all of the information back to the last time the data was saved. In the case of transactions, it eliminates the entire transaction if it has not been saved previously. To learn more about customizing your workstation settings, please refer to the Customize Workstation Settings training video, GEN05. Entry Defaults Entry defaults save you time when entering transactions. Entry defaults are set up by transaction type and workstation. Use the Entry Default form to set up or change default values for certain fields or boxes that you use during transaction entry. The options listed in the Fields column may vary according to the transaction entry form you're using. You can either create a default value for a specific field or indicate that you want the system to display the last value entered in the field in the prior document line item. You cannot set up a default value with Copy from Prior Document line set to Yes. Once you enter changes on this form, they're available to all sessions of this transaction type. However, if you reinstall the system, your defaults need to be redefined. If you regularly enter various types of transactions, such as journal vouchers, accounts payable, or other types, the entry defaults will need to be set up for each one separately. Since entry defaults are also specific to each workstation, your entry defaults will have no effect on other users. True North Training. Never feel lost again.